In a recent legal development, a Michigan judge has denied a request aimed at preventing Donald Trump from appearing on the state's 2024 presidential primary ballot. This decision is seen as a notable victory for Trump as he faces an increasing number of legal challenges seeking to bar him from participating in the upcoming elections. Several states, including Michigan, Colorado, and Arizona, have witnessed legal actions asserting that Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results constitute an attempted insurrection, disqualifying him from future elected office under the 14th Amendment. Despite these challenges, Trump has consistently rejected the legitimacy of such arguments. Michigan Judge James Redford categorically rejected the request, stating that the matter is a political question and not within the jurisdiction of the courts to decide. He emphasized that determining whether Donald J. Trump qualifies for the 2024 general election ballot in Michigan is not presently ripe for adjudication. The ruling stems from multiple cases in which Redford heard arguments on whether Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson has the authority to exclude Trump's name from state ballots. Reacting to the decision, Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chung addressed not only Michigan's case, but also similar cases nationwide. He asserted that these legal challenges are unconstitutional left-wing fantasies orchestrated by allies of the Biden campaign, aiming to involve the courts and undermine the right of the American people to choose their next president. Despite the success in Michigan, Trump faces ongoing legal battles, including a significant lawsuit in Colorado challenging his candidacy. The trial revolves around Trump's alleged involvement in the January 6 riot, with the Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, crew, challenging his candidacy in the state. Former Colorado Secretary of State Scott Jessler, representing Trump, argued that the former president's speech did not constitute engagement in an insurrection, emphasizing his call for peaceful protest. Additionally, longshot GOP presidential candidate John Anthony Castro, based in Texas, has initiated numerous lawsuits across the country, seeking to prevent Trump from appearing on state ballots, including one in the key early primary state of New Hampshire. The legal landscape surrounding Trump's eligibility for the 2024 elections remains dynamic and closely watched.